So what are, what are we looking at on the charts right now? I mean, it, are you expecting at this point uh, a, a relief rally? Uh, that's what a lot of people are talking about. You know, I, 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 in the longer projection of where I see Bitcoin going, I think it makes sense for a relief rally right now. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so that's what I'm in the, in the camp for. And, and again, just looking at the chart here, you can see that we're still, this is the weekly chart. So you can see we're still kind of hovering right around that 2017 high. So it makes sense that at this stage, you're going to get some sort of relief. You've seen a lot of blood. One of the things you were mentioning was the Voyager uh, bankruptcy, right? And one of the key things, and this comes from the stock world as well, is when a stock doesn't go down on bad news, in this case, crypto didn't really dump out on the Voyager news, mm -hmm. that's actually a near-term bottom signal, right? So, mm -hmm. so I'm looking at a bounce. Um, I think that was the cue. It probably told us there was some bigger money buying there. Um, I don't think it's going to be a long bounce, maybe a few weeks to a month or so. Um, max upside I have right now is 28,000. There's a level ah. at 25 as well. My number two. To get. What a coincidence. And I don't even do charts. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> nice. But yeah, so so let me um, let me just show you guys this. So let's go to the daily chart on Bitcoin. So here's your Bitcoin. You you broke here. You then had a beautiful bullish reversal candle. You kind of hovered up. You came back and retested, and then it came right back up here. There's a trend line here that's worth noting. If you take this high and stretch it down, you can see we're just peaking above that right here. So that's a positive. The next step is going to be twenty one thousand eight hundred as your next resistance. So I think probably by the end of today or tomorrow, we test 21.8. And then that's the question, can we break through it? If we can get through that level, then you have a pretty much straight shot to 25.5. This was the Terra Luna low. That's going to stand out as significant resistance. And finally, if you can get through that, then this is my, honestly, I don't think we get higher than this. My, my max upside is around 28, 28.5. Look at all this consolidation. This is going to be a massive amount of resistance on the Bitcoin chart. So again, you know, it's a positive near term. I think that there's a little bit of over bearish sentiment. And one of the things we know about trading is that when the psychology gets too negative, there's naturally a snapback in the other direction. And basically what has to happen is you have to lure people back in. Right. I mean, this is the this is the the, the, the kind of the insanity of trading and how kind of messed up it is is that it always is going to do the thing you don't think it's going to do, luring people back in to think, oh, there's a bottom in Bitcoin. Oh, now it's going back to all-time highs. Just gets to that point, and then the next flush probably comes in. Yeah, I, that, that's kind of what, what I see happening as well. I, I do think that yesterday we had, I mean, you nailed it. We had all the elements for a large dump yesterday. You had the Voyager News. You had the Fed Minutes. Um, you know, they're talking about another supersized rate hike, you know, things like that, um, which, I mean, in a way, I could actually interpret it as bullish for the rest of the year, but um, it, definitely the fact that it did not go down yesterday and held and has even pumped up a little bit, I think that is a sign of a, a, a near-term bottom. Now, let, let's look a little further out here. Um, what, what general timeline, I think, I think we kind of agree mostly on timelines for a, a, a bottom, but if we think this is a local bottom, we're expecting a pump, how long do you see this relief rally lasting? And then how long before you think we get the major leg down and, and where you think it's going? Yeah, so I think this could be a two to four week rally. I don't think it's going to last a whole lot of time, but I think it could be some periods. I think you're starting slow, but once you convince enough people that the bottom might be in, you'll see a lot of people FOMOing in here, maybe around that 24, 25 level. And again, that's where you have to wonder, does it get to 28? But in general, I'm looking for two to four weeks of, of neutral to upside with some chop. And then I think you have the next down cycle coming in probably in about a month, month and a half from now. And that to yeah. me, I still have a downside target. Initially, I was at 20,000. We've now hit 20,000 as my target. Um, now I'm kind of at 12,000 as my next level, 12 to 13,000. Yeah, that's, that's right. In, you know, 10 to 14K. That's where I think we're going.